Sean O'Brien, we're not quite sure how it happened. We've had a look at the at the uh, tape, and maybe it was a head to head uh, clash. But uh, he's going to go through the the HIA protocols, and so that will that he'll work his way through those in the next uh, six days. Um, if there, he's certainly asymptomatic at the moment. He's he's fine. Um, just uh, a little bit grumpy and disappointed. He didn't uh, see out the match. Um, Jared Payne is absolutely fine. He actually passed everything on the side of the pitch. We just felt that it was probably pertinent uh, to leave him at that stage, and we f we feel pretty comfortable with Tommy going into centre, and and Felix has been has been great for us. So so he went on to the wing, and uh, Johnny just felt a twinge in his hamstring when he was kicking that conversion from the from the corner, um, and again we haven't had that assess yet, so. Uh, I can't really comment as to the severity or non-severity of that. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, we had built it up as a really big game, a really important game for us. Um, you know, it was right up there with as big a challenge as we've had since Joe's taken over there, right up there with the New Zealand game or, or whatever. And um, um, so to go out and to execute like we did and to do so many positive things like we did, particularly in the first half, I think we were held up over the line twice, um, you know, gave us a great feeling. And uh, you know, I never thought I'd look up at the scoreboard and it'd be 19-3, you know, when I was building up to the game over the last few days. So it was great to get the lead to go, you know, 9 points, 12 points. and. Once you're lucky enough to tag a try onto that, it's a long way back for the other team, and they probably have to force it a little bit. Uh, I, I think again, you know, the the quality of the English players, whether it's their power carriers like the Billy Vunipola, uh, Jack Noel carries very very powerfully, or their fleet-footed guys like Alex Good uh, carried the ball really well. Jonathan Joseph, uh, Watson got uh, a bit of space one time and. You wouldn't want to give them space a second time. I, I just felt that the fact that we kept them off our try line, uh, we showed a, a lot of character in the last quarter when they started to come in swarms at us. And uh, you know, I think the players can be really proud of the of the effort and uh, the probably the the structure they maintained through that period. Yeah. <laughs> Thought he was going to sneak through in the first half. To be honest, he, he got through on a nice ball uh, from Tommy O'Donnell. Um, it was a little bit bizarre because Tommy hadn't run the play uh, a lot really, and he'd come in for Sean quite early in the game. And uh, I thought he, I thought Tommy had a super game, contributed massively, um, great energy. Uh, as did Geordie Murphy. Um, I thought he was incredible with the with the work rate he got through, but. With Tommy giving that offload to, to Robbie, I thought he might sneak through and create something there. But, uh, you know, he just decided to create something out of absolutely nothing between himself and Conor Murray. And uh, it, it was an exceptional finish. No, uh, I'll wait for Drico's treat, uh, tweet um, <laughs> to put the pressure on me. Uh, and, and, and Paul, uh, again, I think... Uh, um, I think we decided we'd park everything for 24 hours, um, get a bit of recovery, uh, etc., and uh, then try to springboard ourselves forward. We've got, we're up in Belfast for for uh, an overnight camp in the middle of the week, and uh, that's where we'll start to look ahead. At this stage, um, just probably for once, going to just enjoy the moment and uh, take a deep breath. Thank you.